Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. Franklin, the town of Belmont and the school system is starting to get back to normal a bit. Uh, can you tell us what's happening? That's right. Uh, uh, this week, we've uh, learned at the school committee meeting that uh, there are that the plans for the middle school to open on, on April 29th have been approved, and they were going to go forward with that. They're following basically the same example as uh, the elementary school, which is which, which, which is opening on the on the on the fifth of, of April, um, the day before the election. And what it basically is is that they're going to make sure that uh, everybody's masked. You know, there's 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 distance, there's, um, you know, three feet, uh, six feet for lunch. Now, lunch is always going to be a little bit of, a, of an issue because there's a com competition for space. But, you know, the uh, schools are buying these big wedding tents. You know, they can put people out there for classes or lunch. You know, they just need space. Uh, and it appears that it can uh, be done. And it's also more, more likely that um, teachers are going to be um, less, you um, uh, uh, fearful of going in uh, simply because uh, most of uh, many of them are being vaccinated. You know, that's the big bugaboo, especially with teachers. They would like to be, they would like to see more vaccination uh, among their staff uh, before going in uh, full time. But, you know, that's, that's uh, what's happening, you know, a return to nor uh, norm normalcy. And uh, we just learned yesterday that the high school is going to be opening up on Monday, April 12th, but it's only going to be four days. They're going to keep Wednesday uh, uh, open, basically, you're, you're not going to school. And, um, and some of the traditional high school activities are going to be returning in, in one form or another, graduation, prom. That's right. Graduation is going to be the, uh, as it always is, uh, on the uh, first weekend in June, uh, it's going to be held at Harris Field, uh, social distancing, of course. Um, but uh, uh, parents will be in the, up on the uh, bleachers, uh, and can be yell as much as they want because all the students will be getting their diploma up on a stage, uh, and um, it'll be and that's a return to normalcy. Also, a prom, I guess it's going to be called prom at, at sea. Um, it will be uh, a special day for seniors and their and their guests um, who who go on prom. And uh, the, again, social distancing, but um, you know, it'll be mostly held outside, and hopefully, you'll have good weather. And, and uh, there won't be any outbreaks like we, we've been seeing uh, around uh, uh, the state and around the country. And I think that's something that uh, the, uh, some members of the school committee uh, noted is that, um, you know, while many people want to get, us, uh, get children in, in the classroom as possible, uh, a number of them made sure that people realize that we're still under, that we're still in a, in a COVID, um, uh, you know, we don't have her, her, herd immunity for COVID-19. So we have to be still very diligent on how we open the school and how we protect uh, children and the teachers. And I think that was a, that's something that um, uh, may have been lost uh, with people who are, who are looking to do it as quickly as possible. It, um, it, it seems as though the schools have been on a, a trajectory. Uh, can, you, can you talk about how this seems to be the... Uh, the culmination of the work that's been done. I, the, the task force reported back. Uh... Mm -hmm. Well, it, 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 it is, it, it's, it, it really is a, a success. Um, I know a lot of people won't think of it as a success. They would think that, you know, we should have been back full time back in November, but you know, that was just, you know, wishful thinking, you know, um, magically, even magical thinking because of uh, not having a, a vaccine, which is so, so important. Um, uh, and I think what you're seeing is, and I, I think we heard it with um, uh, uh, Superintendent Phelan and, and some members of the uh, school committee again, saying, you know, you know, we did it. We, we, we followed what we said we were going to do. We followed the science. We followed the CDC. You know, we couldn't go faster than we could. You know, they, what they don't say, of course, is that they had to negotiate much of these changes with the, uh, with the uh, teachers union, the uh, Belmont Education Association. And that took a lot of work and a lot of, uh, uh, of, of uh, real negotiation. This wasn't something that can be simply, you can just snap your finger and then get it done. You know, that's those days, 
those days of the 1880s are over. You know, you have to negotiate everything. And that's something that it is it was won and earned by the union. So um, uh, I think what they're saying is that we, we, we told you what we we're going to do. We we're going to do it in a diligent way and we're accomplishing it and we're coming to the finish line, which means, you know, we will have the middle school at the 29th and probably even earlier than that, simply because the high school is going to be opening on the 12th. Let's close the door on the schools uh, for the minute. Uh, another return to normalcy is, or another indicator that things are getting back to normal is that the Belmont pool is going to be open. The Underwood pool will be open as, a, as, a, as, a, as one member of the uh, uh, recreation, uh, uh, Belmont recreation said, we have summer, <laughs> we will have summer. You know, and uh, it will be open from the 23rd to the uh, September 1st. There will, it will be at 50% capacity, which is, um, it, it, I, I'll have to look at the numbers again, but you can read it in the Belmontonian. Um, uh, the, 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 um, uh, what, 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 what we'll see is, um, the, the, but even at this 50% capacity, um, it will break even, it, even if the, even if they, even if there's some setbacks, uh, they still will break even. That's really what, what caused the pool not to be open last year is because it was at a 25% capacity and you just couldn't, you, it just, you couldn't financially uh, uh, justify opening the pool at that rate. It's at 50% now. And I think the rec commission, uh, the rec department is seeing uh, or hoping that the state will increase that by uh, the June date to up to 65%. And uh, that will even make money for the, uh, oh, well, not make money, but um, you know, all your costs will be paid off or most of it. And it, um, it is a right, little it's a little pricey this summer. That's right, three hundred and ten dollars for families and one hundred and ten dollars for individuals. Um, it's uh, it it really is a, a up in cost. But I think you know uh, what the what uh, the the rec commission said is that they're getting they're getting the phone calls all the time, and um, so uh, and, and what they want to do is really um, uh, allow the residents to have a chance to get uh, passes. So residents will will have the opportunity of somewhere a month or five or six weeks where they will uh, have first choice at uh, at passes, and then uh, uh, on June first, uh, non residents can then. Uh, seek passes. And right now you're going to have a two hour block. You know, you can two times a week, you'll have a two hour block that you can reserve. Now, if there's opens, now if there are openings, you know, you can certainly, you know, uh, within a two hour block, you can certainly uh, uh, reserve that time, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, and, um, um, and there's going to be contact tracing. There's, you know, you're going to basically sign yourself in uh, to the, um, to the block, and, th and that's and, th and that's uh, important because if there is a COVID case and they decide that you know that person was at the pool, they'll know who the people are to contact because they were within that two two hour block. That's something that they did at the uh, rink this summer, uh, this winter. So it's something that they're uh, uh, um, uh, comfortable with. And if people are interested in uh, uh, snagging one of those passes, what do they do? Basically, uh, in, in the next couple of days, or uh, the uh, rec commission, they, they they didn't say it at the meeting on on a Wednesday because uh, uh, because they still need to have some software issues uh, resolved and uh, and gearing up the uh, department for what they expect is a flood of, of uh, calls and 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 uh, confirmations uh, at you know online. Um, but that's going to come in just a few. Um, they said a, a few days or, or a week. And they'll tell you what day that is going to happen. All you need to do is go to uh, uh, BelmontRecreation.com, and they will have a word, I believe, on Monday or Tuesday of next week. That's great. Thanks for bringing us up to date. We've been speaking with Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.